I'm Vijay Kalyan Jha from MB100 and here we are going to discuss one data interpretation set that appeared in the XAT2023 that is completely erroneous. You must challenge it. And in fact, yesterday I took a session and I told you about two questions, two erroneous questions in the XAT2023. One was based on prime numbers and the other one on three fielders in slip cordon of a cricket match. And in fact, the triangle was not possible and even X and Y were not possible in that prime number question. So here, when the response sheets were released, we realized that this entire DI set was COVID infected. Yes, this is the set that we are talking about. Please look at it carefully. And the problem area is what you see in red here. Yes, this created all the problem. This much of information is given with the entire set. So honestly speaking, this entire set is COVID infected. All right, and this particular part in red is repeated here in this question. All right, I'm sure all of you have already gone through this question. So let's come to the problem area. Here you're actually asked that here in unknown, if this is, let's assume this is X and this is Y. So X is to 235 should be same as 62,434 as to 1,17,586. All right, so apparently when you calculate it, x divided by 235 is equal to 62434 divided by 117586 and you ultimately get 125, which was certainly one of the options as well. As you can see here, option D, but hey, that is not the full story. I'm sure you remember that you can get all these figures. In fact, we have got all these figures for you. How to get this figure unknown? In 0 to 18 category, this is the total. This is the total number of confirmed females, confirmed males. So this plus this subtracted from this will give you this. All right. So we completed this for you. Here you get 335, 349 here, so and so forth. And here you ultimately get 12. And what about these three? Sum of this entire thing, this plus, let's assume it to be X, okay? should be 62,434. Isn't that? Similarly, sum of this entire thing plus let it be y should give you 53825. And if this is z, so sum of this entire thing with z will give you 1327. Let's look at the figures. This comes out to be 88. This comes out to be 118. And this comes out to be 29. So these are all figures available with us. And if we have this 88 here, what does it mean? It means of 235 unknown people, at least 88 were females. And why am I saying 88 were females? At least 88 were females? Because many of these 29 could also be females. But one thing is for sure that there are 118 males. So of 235 people, if 118 are confirmed males, then this number can at the most be 88 plus 29, 117. How can it be 125? This is just not possible. This is just not possible. And hey, if you think that here also this number, this number, okay, is at least is the minimum number of females, confirmed females, and you can get some from this. That will tilt the data even more in favor of the inaccuracy. And why so? Because here, when this is 88, okay, even if I add all this, this becomes 117. Then you get how much? Then also that is much less than 125. If this goes, if this goes above 62,434, the data would be even more inaccurate. So this entire set is actually incorrect. All right. And it's not that this information is given in just one of the questions. That information is given with one of the questions, but actually that is there in the main data as well. All right. So this 125 is just not possible. 88 plus 29 at the most the number of females in unknown category can be 117 and not 125. And even that 117 is not possible. All right. Okay. So this question should be challenged. All right. Then here, if we ignore the part in the red that I showed to you initially, 
If we look at question number two, in which age category the percentage of female COVID patients is the highest? The answer is 81 plus. This is the answer. And why? In 61 to 70 category, their minimum percentage is 51.45. And why am I again talking about the minimum percentage? Because there are some unknown people also. If all of them are females, if all of them they turn out to be females, then it would be like this. So these are the ranges. So this is easily option. E is the answer here. But the main data, the trunk data itself is incorrect. Then you had this question. All right, very smart people did not need to calculate this because this is, this would have taken a lot of time. All right, so let's check the veracity of all these statements. Statement one, unknown age group patients are less likely to provide information about gender than any other age category. All right, in unknown category, there are 29 people who haven't told you about their gender. It means 235 minus 29, 206 people have told you about their gender. That percentage is 87.66. All right, in rest of the categories is much above 87.66. So the statement is true. All right, now statement two here is between 31 and 80 when age increases, Patients in percentage terms are less likely to provide information about gender. No, that is incorrect. That is incorrect because look, we start from this range 0 to 18 and the percentage is 98.5. It becomes age becomes more. This percentage also goes up. It becomes 98.93. It again goes down to 98.75. It again comes up. So this cannot be concluded. What about the third statement? Elderly category patients are more likely to get information about gender than 0 to 18 age group options. That is true. Why? Because in 81 plus category, this is 99.4. All right, 99.4 percent people have told you about their gender. Okay, whereas in 0 to 18 category, that is 98.5. So that is absolutely correct. So here your answer should be one as well as three but my problem is that when the parent data is itself incorrect okay how can we do this but giving some benefit of doubt to the anxiety questions two and three can still be considered but question number one where they are going to give you the answer is 125 that is just not possible because number of females in a known category cannot be more than 117 all right. In fact, four of the options are much above 117. All right. So please do join our telegram group and do not forget to like this video, share it with your friends and foes and subscribe to this channel. All the best.